season and produced 17 points last game. Ibang klaseng pakiramdam ang maging frontrunner ng Navy para sa kanya. Malaki man daw yung pressure para punan yung position ni former Sea Lion Jao Omandal. Pressure is what makes an upcoming star player shine as standards will push him to become better. Back to you, Belin Gotrani. Thank you for that report, Alexis. Of course, as we all know, Jao Omandal in a different team here in our open conference. And so are many others. There's been a shift the of on. players. The Rigodon has really erupted in the Spikers turf. It's been an interesting uh, season, a conference so far for all our squads. After the PNBF Champions League, really, uh, I think that was the best showcase that was uh, made possible to the Spikers turf teams. We're interested to join in 2023 and suddenly... Dami na, no? Hindi lang pa isa isa. <laughs> 11 teams right now here in our open so, time. mga lumipat, di ba? As we get back to this game, so a one-point lead for the volley hitters. And again, Greg Delore continues his dominance here in set number one. From the opposite, from the open, from the back row, no problem for Greg Delore. And once again, he continues to be the focal point of their offense. Good fight back after giving up a 6-2 run. It's a vanguard. As they lost a two-point lead earlier, now ties the count eight on two straight points. I'll give this one to Diwa, and he is denied! It's a bit like that last offensive block earlier. Diwa scored against them. Actually, si Diwa yung nagpahabol dito eh. Tapos, Villegas, Binalasa, kay Paliso, kay Abrot. And Diwa also the 39th best scorer in the league right now in terms of our rankings. So far, so good for him in this game. As Vince Abrot scores one of his own. Excellent place by Kami from Vince Abrot. Going long, going deep. No one guarding that zone. Blockers were delayed. And the Lord just could not get. And right now, that Vince, spot. Vince Abrot is getting that much needed support that we were talking about for Tron in that pre-game. And then see Diwa, si Palisok also doing well here in set number one. And that is uh, also a uh, tribute to Villegas. Mm -hmm. We got a rally going on here. Again, Diwa. Ball is kept alive. They set it over to the white shirts. Play continues. Kamag Anakal will try. Off the block. Gets the point. You can almost say that this is already an elimination match. For me, uh, after uh, looking at the team standings, and uh, seeing how he most defeated Philippine Army. Sipin mo sa team ng Navy, pang lima, pero pag natalo, bababa sila sa pang anin, pang pito, pang walot, pang siyam. Kasama itong Vanguard Army. As Suarez commits that dumb error. Eight all earlier after a two-point run. Vanguard goes up to a 3-1 counter. Villegas so far holding fourth laban dito kay Owen Suarez. Again, 9 to 11 is our score. Vanguard in the lead. Abrupt the serve for the white shirts. It was a good serve. And a good dig as well for Navy. Kamag Anakan. Oh, miss it. Still a good outside. set. Still a good set coming from Villegas. A lot of flair. Villegas is not in the top 10 among the best setters, but we know for a fact what he can do as a playmaker. Nobody in the top 10 likewise in terms of spike percentage for House of Vanguard. And those are things that they want to improve on. We're gonna give this one to Kamag Anakan again. Ball is kept alive. Just a little too short there for Navy. They weren't able to send that ball over. And so the point will go to the volley hitters as we take a look at the replay of that sequence. Nasipa yung bola pataas. Buhay pa yan. Legal yan. As our team captain, Bill Yegas, is on deck to serve for the white shirts. 12 serving 10. Suarez again will try. Better set. That was Marcelino. Yes, yung unang set was to the back of Marcelino. Could not finish off that point. And in the rebound play, Marcelino. From Suarez. Bubble block was not there to close. Navy still behind by one here in set number one. It's proving to be quite a tight set for both our squad. The pressure ne. As we end our preliminary round. Oh, 
March 17, if I'm not mistaken. Lapit na, no? Palapit na, palapit na, Coach Ron. Tatapos na ang unang dalawang buwan. So there has to be that sense of urgency for all our Especially teams. for those teams outside of the final four. Exactly. Or top so, four, rather. Excellent defense para dito sa Vanguard. Good coverage for both squads. They need a point here. That was a good thing. And we got a pretty long rally. They never try. Again, we got to credit the libero of the volley hitters. That is Alfaro. Right, right, Alfaro. Chance here for Navy. Finally, goes to the middle hitter. Sapida scores his first point. Good distribution coming from Suarez. Pantayato si Marcelino. Hindi nakakamping kaya Dolor. Oh, that's a nice angle to think. Coming from Navy for a two-point run. Alfaro was just a little too late to pick up that ball. Could have extended that rally, but right now, we are at a deadlock here in set number one. The Liegas will go to Palisok. Doesn't go over. It will be an attack error for Raz Palisok. Navy finally regains the driver's seat after being behind by two. The first set is always a good one. To pocket. Pambuelo mo yan. Ang palakas ng loob. Palisok again. Suarez will go to the lower. And he is blocked. That's the second block for Diwa. Earlier he had one on him take. Now in the open, the lower is checked by Diwa. Two offensive blocks for 18, which is number 10 in, in blocking. Although meron silang 33 kill blocks, they're ranked number 10. Behind Navy, which is at number 4. And they average 2 blocks per set, talking about the Sea Lions of uh, Coach Cecil Cruzada. As Diwa will serve for the white shirts. They're going to go to Villanueva again. Good day by Diwa doing everything. Ang ganda ng floor defense talaga ng Vanguard so far. Villanueva one more time challenging those blockers. And that will be a violation called on the Vanguard volley hitters. That was all by call for that net touch. No challenge here so far from Coach Ejet Mabayan. All by quickly apologizes to Coach Ejet. Maybe again in the lead, 14 to 13. It's been a push and pull affair for set number one. Give it to the other oh, side. Nice. That was Kamag Anakan. A smart play coming from Kamag Anakan. And sometimes it's not all about power, it's about reading the defense. So, hit surprises the defender. Going down the line, very tight. Or Kamaganakan. And now they tie this game, 14 all. Villanueva again. Another net touch. Remember the 29 errors committed by Vanguard versus Imus. That was costly. Take a look at what happened there. That was clearly a net touch violation called on Vince Abrot. And because Villanueva is a scoring threat because of the way he played there in the last match. May binabantayan siya. At check na siya sa, sa game na ito. Importante, binabantayan siya. Hindi lang kila Dolor at Marcelino yung depensa. That is a point. Touch by Kamaganakan. Good break for Greg Dolor. And the rest of Coach Cecil's Sea Lions up to second technical time. Serve Open Conference, the PGJC Navy Sea Lions are taking on the Vanguard Volley Hitters. This is set number one. Here with me, Billy Capistrano, Coach Ronnie Magsanok, and of course, our courtside reporter, Alexis 
Captain Sai. And right now, the score is 16 to 14 in favor of the Sea Lions. Sea Lions coming off a four set win versus uh, the Philippine Air Force. Vanguard, meanwhile, going down in defeat in four sets. Look, that will be their fourth straight loss. And trying to rebound and uh, get a next step higher into the team standings as right now they are ranked number nine with only five games remaining in their playing schedule. So we are nearing the end of our preliminary round as Villanueva scores an ace. Biggest lead for the Sea Lions and uh, after the technical timeout, Coach Ejit. Coach Ejit will call another timeout here para sa Vanguard Valley. Huwag natin nga bumagsak lang gano'n yung bola kasi yung may name try natin, di ba? Okay? Start lang natin naman dyan, ha? Go! 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 Right now, Navy holding on to that three-point lead and they're trying to pull away from the volley hitters. It's been a very, very close set number one so far. Right. Problems for Vanguard, number 10 in spike percentage, number 10 in blocks, number 10 in reception. And right now, that is something that's top of mind for them after giving up. That last point on that service is from Marvin Villanueva. Speaking of, Villanueva is on deck to serve for the Sea Lions. And that will be a service error. A free point will be given to the volley hitters. They are down by just two points, and we have some substitutions for Coach Ejit Mabayat. Setter Disuyo coming in. Likewise, Tolentino. For Villegas and Palisok. Situational subs, designated server. Trying to overcome a two-point deficit. And right on cue, Disuyo will be serving for the white shirts. It is 15, serving 17 here in set number one. And right off the bench, Coach Ron, a service error. And that point will be given to the Sea Lions and it will further their lead to three points. Napalakad paleo si Coach Ejit. Eh. Oh, nice serve, nice serve. And a service ace for the team captain. Eight of 24 receptions for this abroad. And their last loss, Sorio for abroad, defense for offense, lead is at four for the Sea Lions late here in set one. The Lord will try one more time. Chance ball here for Navy. And that was in pink with a quick. I think the marginal run so far was before the second technical timeout. From that point on, it has been a 4-1 run for the Tito Navy. Up 5 right now versus Vanguard Valley Hitters. Hindi natin mauuli ako. Tatal na tayo ito sa abutin natin yun. Lagi lang lulusin sa atin yan. Okay? Tapos ayan na naman. Di ba? Kayo magkakatabi. Ito nga blocking shot, di ba? So hindi kayo nagsasalita. Okay? Turo nyo. Turo nyo yung tao, ha? Sige na gawin nyo. And from a pretty close start to the set number one, we now see Navy starting to pull away from the Vanguard yes. volley hitters. It is a five-point lead for the blue shirt. And you, mean, you can say that uh, it was not given to them. Tindo ba nila? Separation right now is at five points. Started with Marvin Villanueva's excellent form from the service line. And Navy just showing a little bit more consistency as compared to the volley hitters. Good floor coverage. They're going to give it to Tolentino. He's coming off that bench. Chance here for the volley hitters. Tolentino hesitating a little bit. Suarez to Villanueva. And that will be too strong for Villanueva. A chance here for Vanguard to regain that momentum. Confidence and consistency, two things that Villanueva needs to work on. Otherwise, it's a very good weapon para dito sa team ng Sea Lions. 
given the absence still of Jude Garcia. Oh, by the serve. Suarez. Siguro to hunt. Portion to hunt. Suarez makes sure that Dolor gets his touch. First to 20, four points away from winning the first set. Up five, once again, with misdirection by Antique at the middle. Greg Delore, we all know what he's capable of. Just leading the team here in set number one. We got Antique serving. Kamaganakan will give it to Tolentino. Suarez with a one-two play. Unsuccessful. Tolentino again, but oh. hits the antenna. Quickly apologizes to his team. Puntos para sa Navy. And sometimes you just have to make a decision kung ibabalik mo lang as free ball or give up that free point. Especially time score, game situation. Biggest lead in our set so far. here for the volley hitters. They gotta get something good. Ayan sila sa ate ko. Hindi na inatake ng sila. Pinalik lang nila. And what happened was ang nagkamali pa ay ang volley hitters. Now Vince abroad here in. I just want to play the percentages at times. Especially situation and score will always be should always be your compass. In terms of decision making. Now a seven point lead for the Sea Lions. They are poised to win the set number one. Another attack error for the volley hitters. Second straight. The score earlier was at 16 14, and since that time, this has been an 8 2 major run for the Sea Lions. Aces, attack points, and making the right decisions. So that is also. Able to keep their offense in full throttle up to this point. Set point na, ang Sea Lions. And finally, a point for Vanguard via Vince Abroad. Nung nawala si Vince Abroad, nawala yung offense nila. He may have, uh, he may have uh, given up a, uh, an ace. But you cannot overlook that without Vince Abroad, talagang mababa yung porsyento na lang maka-atake. And he has been leading this team, this whole conference. Oh. That's gonna be another attack error coaching on for the Vanguard volley hitters to end set number one, which will go to the PGJC Navy Sea Lions. 